Oh, didn't see you there. Guess I was getting lost in the trees, as they say. Hi, my name's Diane Milhouse, and for years I tried using the internet. But I have to admit, even on my best days, I felt a bit lost. I'd heard about some websites, google.com, Bank of America, facebook.com, gmail, weather.com. I'd been to those. But I still didn't feel like I was really getting it. I noticed other people managing to waste hours on the internet while I could only seem to kill 10 or 15 minutes. What were they all looking at? Where were they all going? I had so many questions and I didn't know who to ask for help. What are bookmarks? Where's the blogosphere and how do I get to it? Do I need a password? How many RAMs do I need to download a video? What about to watch one? What's an attachment? How many gigs can I use before I run out? Does Gmail use more gigs than email? I was losing confidence, but more importantly, I was losing touch with the things that actually made me feel good in life. Like playing tennis, dinner with friends, sucking on chili dogs down at the Tasty Freeze. And that's when suddenly it hit me. F the internet. The internet doesn't have shit on real life. Can you do this on the internet? What about that? What about this? What about this? Can't do this on the internet. Fresh leaves. Look, I'm up in a tree. Snow angels. 11, 12, 13, 14 rocks. Real trash, won't find that on the internet. Look, a horse. Point is, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. I think that's from something, but I don't know how to find out what. At any rate, I'm Diane Milhouse, and I say F the internet. If you need me, I'll be in this bush trying to figure out which berries are safe to eat. <laughs>